What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to the middle nine coverage of the final round lead card for the 30th annual Tahoe Pro-Am prevented by MVP Disc Sports. We're here at Bijou Community Park in South Lake Tahoe. You got myself, Spanky Edwards, and my buddy, Dan Double N. Turner, coming Yo, at guys. you from Premium Disc Golf. We're in here. Welcome back. I didn't think any of you would miss this. This is a good battle. We got four guys all within two strokes. One stroke. Within one stroke, yeah. 18 26, holes to play. 26, 25, 25. Uh, I think Tristan had the hot front nine with a six down, but everybody else was kind of in the mix. And, Dustin uh, falling off it just a bit, but he's still at 20 or 21. He's, he's only five back. So, yeah. yeah, he's, you know, you can go on a heater out here. Absolutely. And... Yeah, it's nice to get off to the back here. We'll be away from the road now, a little more peaceful. Incredible views of Heavenly Mountain and Field Peak and... Uh, just yeah one of the most serene courses i've ever played so excited to see it excited to see these guys attack it we got hole 10 uh 420 feet so par three this one is way down to the right there's a couple ways to get there the forehand works the backhand turnover works um there's just a lot of even the perfect line can get caught up on a tree this looks pretty good if it can hold up it uh, kind of burned over i think i see people get closer with the turnover than with the forehand just just for whatever it shapes up a little bit better i agree that's what i go with peter a little bit high here but doing some things and not hitting trees so that's good he's still going to be circle three or worse Dustin got this one over a little bit too quick, I think. The only other line that I do take sometimes is the forehand, like just left of that Mando sign, mm. and just really just sort of snake something through those trees. I feel like it's kind of like the shortest distance between A and B, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's hard to see from this angle. Dustin doesn't love it, but he's up there for a par putt. Peter with a birdie luck here. Oh, oh, right off the rim. This swung around the backside. Quinn with the best drive of the group, but. Yeah, just a little right. I don't know. I think the camera makes that putt look a little closer than it was. Yeah. It was, he clearly a jump putt. He's clearly outside the circle. Yeah, final round. This hole was not birdied. No way. Zero birdies. Oh, and Quinn just spit out. Oh. And a handful of bogeys, too. Peter tapping out his par. And we're going to be behind a hole number 11. 307. It's down to the right. You can see it between some of those trees. Maybe Tristan will guide us there with this forehand shot. Oh, that's the tree to miss. If it just gets past that, it goes all the way. Yeah, for sure. There's a hazard line up the right side, too, if you want to throw a backhand. I feel like the turnover is kind of hard. There's a few trees that like just come out of nowhere. Like the turnover on the left side? Yeah, like little well, Sketchy's throwing it freaking perfect. Oh, I see. Like actually turnover up the gut though. Yeah. I agree. Brian reaching backhand. Just keeps working. Round, yeah. Big flare. Yeah, that's going to be... Wind is in the zone. It's going to be 10 to 12 feet. Is 
So we're going to approach. Grass is still kind of tall right there at this time, so kind of slows him down and catches him. Not too much fear of a skip away. Tristan, good putt, cleaning up the par. Mm -hmm. Dustin for birdie. Nice bird. Count it. Like you said, that's the probably the hardest way to get it. And uh, made it look real easy. Yeah, smooth. Quinn, nice bounce back from the unfortunate Bogue. Brian and Tristan and Peter all gonna get par. We got a tie at the top at 26. Quinn and Brian just won back at that. Dustin's working his way back into the mix, too. Hole 12, 434. Dead straight to the other end of the meadow. This looks pretty good. Maybe just up there in circle two. It's definitely one of my, one of my favorite shots out here at Bijou. One of the more unique holes where you come out of the woods and it's a wide open shop, but you're shooting back into the trees. Nice protected green, very fair. Mm -hmm. Unless that happens. Yeah, I think he skipped through it, but yeah, it, it is kind of a collection zone underneath that tree where you're just like, oh no. Like you could be 30 feet and just have kind of nothing from under that tree. Tristan, if this hooks up in time, it's gonna be pretty damn good. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Ooh, Park City. That is so good. I'm trusting that width. Peter going a little turnover, hoping for that to hook up. He's up there almost pin high. There's a little tunnel through there. The green is a little congested uh, from the right side. Yeah, depending on exactly where he landed, there, you know, he's either got nothing or All he's right. got a window. Ask he's him asking, to go. Yeah, but that's up there, circle one. I agree. Sketchy and the dog pound over there. <laughs> very, very popular walking Peter, trails. Yeah, Peter looks like he's got to look through this tunnel. See if he can thread it. Oh, uh, that's how brutal that line yeah, there's is. There's some grabbers there. Quinn, from a knee, doesn't look like he had too much. There's Brian from 27 feet. Oh, oh Brian. Really? He wants that one back. Yeah, no doubt. It's brutal to get that close to this one and not be able to capitalize. Yeah, I've played, uh, I haven't played with Brian before until this year, but at this point in time, we've played a handful of rounds together, and he is a good putter. I mean, he's a good disc golfer, but yeah, he makes good. them. He, 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 like, has great pace on his putts, I feel like. He really, like, even from long range, like, you know, I kind of fling him in there, and his just kind of, they just, they just keep going. I don't know. <laughs> Did you see that? Sorry. Dustin used Quinn's butter. He just took it out and then put it back in and took it out. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Tristan going over the top. Looks like he'll just be about 40 feet. Oh, yeah. Roller. Oh. Damn. I don't think I've ever seen anyone lay the ruler down no, here. No, but if somebody's going to do it, it's going to be sketchy. Quinn, I kind of like this line. You kind of just try to flex one around the corner and let it unravel down the tunnel. Yeah, there's so many different ways to play this hole, and they're all a bit of a crapshoot. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's there. Getting clean's good because it's not super long of a hole. Here's here's Brian showing yeah. us the way. That's a good example of how you're supposed to bend that shot mm -hmm. from left to right. Look at this meadow. This is what Beach is all about, dude. Love it out here. Thanks yeah. for being out there, Quinn, so we can get a look uh, of our surroundings <laughs> <laughs> for the boys. Sketchy trying to fling one up tall on a hyzer. Peter got all the way down here. Oh. Oh, he just caught that branch. Nice bird. Textbook. I mean, the most definitely the nicest drive out there. 
left him really close to the basket and cleans up the only yeah. birdie on the card. So yeah, hole 13, about a quarter of the field birdied it. Everyone else parred it. No, no bogeys. Not too much separation there, but. Quinn with his pat patented forehand tap in. Right. All right, hole 14. This is in the par four position. Uh, 543, playing kind of just way out in the meadow. I think we're going to see like a turnover or something kind of overstable that's going to hook up before those trees on the right. Yeah, this play by Brian is, I think, pretty optimal. Just keep away from those trees, get down there, get your three. If you really crank it, you can get a look for a uh, two. But I think uh, the mistake on this hole is just Is Tristan trying to go left of those trees, do you know? Or is he just trying to push a hyzer out there? No, that's a good question. Uh, he didn't look like he threw it super hard. So I think he was just trying to hyzer to the right and then having another forehand hyzer yeah. into the green. Which I like. I think it's a great play, especially yeah. with a strong forehand like his. It's not hard to get to the basket yeah. from anywhere in the fairway. Yeah, definitely the mistakes on this hole are just getting tangled up on the, the left side trees there and giving yourself uh, a tough up. Quinn just mashing this. If it comes back, it's going to be pretty good. Looks right. Yeah, we'll see if he's got a, a, what kind of lie he's got tucked in on the right there. But he's not too far from the basket, so I think he should be able to get up and down. Peter going pretty high, snaking one out there. But yeah, he's inside 200, I think. Yeah, it should be. Well, I Kristen, see. really tricky lie. What can he get from there? It's down there, but he only yeah. could get it to circle two. Oh, wow. Peter almost dunked it. That was nice. Sketchy right in the middle. Woo, wow. He'll have a tap in birdie. Here's Quinn's lie. He's going back door with a forehand roller, but he was close to the basket, so I didn't really see where that ended up. Yeah, I wasn't able to see it come out. Brian with a little something to be desired there. He knows it too. Let's see if he can put that good pace you were talking about on that putt. Oh, he's pumped about that. Yeah, that was a wow, sick birdie save. what a save, nice. Tristan. No way! This is awesome. Wow. Fireworks, dude. These guys, they were making the hole look hard for a while, but luckily they, they make uh, they had a little putting look easy. They had a little talk on the tee box. Hey, guys, let's uh, leave them a little short so we can blow these chains out. Oh, Brian. Peter with a par there is going to fall two back of Tristan. Oh, yeah. So we've got a three-way tie at 26 down. Tristan with a two-stroke lead. Sketchy. Still five back of the lead, but only three back a second now. So he's he's battling. Yeah. It's a slow start, but he's a grinder. He knows what it takes. It's important to never to never tell yourself you're out of it, right? Like. Yeah. I always just believe there's a lot of golf left. I'm Keep not a big game. Yeah, I'm not a real big scoreboard watcher, but sometimes when I have a rough patch and I'm feeling like I'm I'm slipping, I like look at the scorecard just to like like see like all right, I need to battle for this now. Like, you know. Yeah, like believe it or not, I've had to lead slip away quite a few times. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, what do I gotta do to get fourth place or well, whatever? You know what I mean? A way to motivate yourself. You gotta to... find something to, to dig deep. Yeah. Quinn a little inside here on hole 15, but it got up there for a putt. As long as you miss that tree. Clearly you want to be yeah. right of it, but if you miss it, you do skip up the hill most of the times. Yeah. Give yourself about a 40-footer. I would say this is one of the, maybe I'm biased, but one of the simpler holes. A little uphill, just a hyzer around the corner. It's just, just a classic golf shot, nothing too fancy. Peter does it proper. Just a one-angle hyzer, right? I was say, if that's not a one, he'll be right there for a two. Dustin hanging it a little bit wide on the birdie putt. Yeah, look how far Quinn did skip up here. Mm hmm Even missing the line, like you said. It's... See if B can get his putter back on track. There, there it is. Go. 
putts like that will get you motivated to make the next one. Tristan looking solid right now in this loop here. Three out of six, and they're not really in the easiest pin position, so he's just kind of capitalizing and getting them where he can. Yeah, and he's got the, the solo lead by two now. Yeah, with that Quinn, that, that par, Quinn falls one back a second. Hole 16, 444, downhill in the little pyramid. You can see it there. Tristan hitting what I call the sucker's gap like a boss. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like to go out to the right side with a hyzer. I assume a lot of these guys will do that. Or they're just going straight at it. But these guys are on lead card and I wasn't, so yeah. touche. Brian doesn't love it, but he's probably 45 feet and, you know, he can ring one up. Peter looks like he's getting through the gap, but a little bit short. Is this a this is the first time this pin position's been played in a tournament? I think it's new this year, right? It is new this year. Sketchy. This is the line I like. This looks proper. Wow! Did I just crawl up it? It looked like it was right off of it or just behind it, but yeah, I think that line makes the hole pretty easy. I agree. Yes. Or, the way I try to go is out to the right and then Heiser back in. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't say easy, but that's my most consistent play out there. Quinn's just going to have to lay up here for a three. Hopefully a three. It yeah, he doesn't love short. that. There's some low branches in front of him. I don't think Peter's got to look either. Nope. That's going to be a little more routine tapping, though. Yeah. Here's Bryant. Oh, oh, he thought it was in. We did, yeah. too. Look clean. Quinn with a tester for par. Uh, he was straddled out into that tree. It's frustrating for him. He's going to take a bogey. Tristan. Wow. Birdie. Keeping the fire alive. Here's where Evanger got just past the pin here. 18 feet. I would bet on him making this. Good putt. Wow. Yeah, you throw that right side. It's almost like unobstructed the entire way. So as long as you get the power right, you not a lot of danger of not getting to it. Yeah. Whereas going straight at it, it's so likely to flip up and hit those trees in the middle or hang it out a little wide and hit the trees on the late yeah. left. So. It definitely makes it a more technical shot. Mm -hmm. All right, so Tristan's extended his lead to three over Peter and Brian there with the birdie. Quinn falls to five back. There we go. Hole 17, 370. Still par three. Very interesting hole. Tight, tight window off the tee. If you take the forehand line, as long as you hit that first gap, you're way out in the meadow, nothing to worry about, and then crash down, hopefully, somewhat. Oh, close to the pin. Dustin going aggressive with the roller. I think he maybe got it, just missed it. Missed his line by a hair. Peterson with the... I'd say he doesn't throw a forehand too much, but that is down there for a circle two putt. Yeah, he didn't seem to like it. I understand he, it's a little left. It can be pinched by those trees that kind of hide the tunnel. Is that a missed line that worked out? Or do you know if Peter goes on that left? Um... We'll just assume he was aiming there. Huh? Fair enough. Quinn with a pure forehand here. Let's see if it skips back. Not too bad. Circle two look. Dustin from way back, sticking with the roller play. He's got a lot of heart. I like it. He's got a lot of heart. Uh, it's down there. I think he's circle two for par. Tristan's forehand came up a little bit short. Looks like he's just trying to pitch up and take a par. Mm-hmm. He kind of parked the A position. This is Brian, this is an honest look here on this hole. 46 feet. Oh! Yeah, so he wasn't as obstructed as it kind mm -hmm. of looked from from the tee pad. He actually He's had a Dustin decent window. Got pretty far over here. 
Oh. He's going to be taking a bogey, unfortunately. At least it's uh, guaranteed. Here's Quinn for a par putt. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that one had a chance to go in for sure. I think it was in. <laughs> nice par. This one couldn't have, have had that many birdies on it. No, 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 no. It averaged just over par. Uh, there's only one birdie. Okay, the local yeah. homie, Dylan Katana, got uh, it. With a monster forehand. Yeah, you probably almost faced it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice birdie, Dylan. Okay, on to the last hole of this middle nine here. Hole 18. Oh, we're playing the par five, 670. This is going to be a nice little... S-shaped fairway. Oh, the forehand line. Can he get all the way through? Okay, that's probably the best possible way to attack this hole. Yeah, that's the best way to get the most distance. It goes forward, then it breaks left, and then right. breaks right, and then... Brian with a good shot there. You want to throw something like that hyzer that skips, but if it skips too far left, then it's obstructed. Um... There's a play for eagle on this hole, but you got to land in the zone on off the tee. Yeah, I just want to be like yeah. Peter hits early. I think if I were Peter, I'd be telling myself like, all right, let's just play for the birdie now. Like, you don't want to get too disheartened from one bad shot. Yeah. Quinn. That's we'll moved see. a little more left than he would have liked. I agree. It's also like the the ground there is just this huge pile of broken limbs. It's not very good footing over there. Looks like Dustin got caught up a little bit early on the right. This is, although far back, not the worst. Oh, now it is. <laughs> I was going to say not the worst place to be because you could see the whole entire fairway, but. Mm -hmm. Here's Dustin's third. Oh. He hates it. This is one of those holes. That, if you play it right, Feels like you got through it in five seconds, and if you play it wrong, oh, see yeah. what I'm saying about the footing? How you actually on the ground now? There's so many sticks over there. It's so hard to get a good stance. Yeah, what are you doing laying on the ground, Quinn? Yeah, if you play this hole wrong, it can feel like it took an hour. Yeah, but then you land where Brian landed, yeah. and he's like, "I'm about to get an eagle." Yeah, we haven't even seen where Tristan landed, right? No, he's way up there. And this looks so, good. This is great. The tall grass, so he won't get much ground play, but he's up there in circle two for an eagle putt. Here's Sketchy's fourth, and if he can save a par after a handful of not so good shots, he'll be pretty stoked, okay. honestly. I know where Tristan's at. This is so far up there. Yeah. Can he get it out and swing it's a around? little convoluted, but oh, he's up there. That looks money. Yeah, I think he's... We'll see how close he got. Oh, that's a little pulled. I think that was Peter's fourth. This is Quinn's third. That was for Eagle. He'll, he'll have to settle for birdie. And this is Brian for an Eagle, two, eagle three. Oh, gosh, he just has... off the cage. He has found the putt, but it's just... It's so close. Wow, Tristan, circle one for eagle. Yeah! Nice I was so putt, to see Tristan. That. There we go. And that's how you play the hole. Just... There were three eagles on this uh, hole. Tristan, Will Ling, and Zach Heitzenrader. Nice oh, job, wow. Zach. I think I was playing with Zach this round, actually. I've only done it once, years ago. Oh, he's good. Gonna want that one back. Yeah, that's gonna be a bogey for Sketch, birdie what for... Would've been such a nice par save too. Yeah, Queen will be tapping in for a birdie. Okay, let's, that's wrapping up the, the middle nine here that final round um tristan kind of hot heat all of a sudden yeah he went six down and six down on those those ones he's yeah. giving himself a four stroke lead over brian peterson peter one back of that quinn following suit and dustin just 
hanging on in there. You know, obviously he wanted to get that last par save, but. Yeah, still a battle down the stretch. Um, tune back in for the back nine, guys. Looking forward to it. See you there. Yep.